the monster. What is going on, YouTube? This is Monster. As you can tell, this is not QP. I uh, can't do his voice, unfortunately. I don't sound like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks, maybe in Toy Story as Woody. Uh, you guys ever think uh, QP sounds like that? Leave him a comment. <laughs> Let him know. Uh, anyway, uh, QP asked me to do a special guest commentary for him a while back, and uh, I've been so busy with school and work, figured I'd do it now. Got some free time. So, what am I doing a video on? Callouts. It's going to be really insignificant. I went ahead and trimmed down the match as much as I could to uh, not bore you guys with my voice. Um, I've got another channel you guys can check out. Uh, it's uh, FPS Victor. So uh, you guys feel free to check me out. I don't want to steal any thunder from uh, QP's subs. Uh, he does a great job by himself and um, went ahead and definitely jumped on the opportunity to, to do something for him. And, um, he's been one of my good buddies and he's taught me a lot about gameplay. Uh, especially things like this, calling out enemy positions. Um, but he's taught me a lot about, you know, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, he had something for the OTC guys called uh, uh, Q-tips. Uh, his basically tips on reviewing one of your one of your games that you wanted to go over in theater mode. And because of him, I have definitely become a better player. Um, mainly because of him, but as well with other members of OTC. We've got some uh, pretty good players. Uh, we've got a player named Rockopotamus that uh, you, you want to listen to. Uh, notice here that, that call out. I should have made that call out, but I didn't. Um, I don't know. I think Rocco had a, a napalm there on CDOM, so I took away. But needless to say, I should have made that call out. Three top CDOM by satellite. You know, when making call outs, you really want to make them pretty short and concise. Let people know, hey, this is where people are. There was another call out I should have made. Got knifed, but uh, my buddy R. A. Noob picked up on my uh, picked up on my death right there. But anyway, going on, uh, Q's been a really good uh, asset to OTC and kind of helping the mediocre players such as myself. I've actually improved quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't consider myself mediocre anymore. Um, I definitely consider myself kind of on par with some of the good guys. And, uh, I mean, I'm by no means a beast. I'm at a 147 KD. Uh, but I play a lot of objective. Uh, not to say that Q doesn't, or any of our other OTC guys don't. Uh, but I play a lot of objective, and I rush. And uh, I'm one of the few that uh, will run to my death consistently to try to get a flag cap. But it's necessary. Uh, I think in every team, it's necessary to have the right setup to where you're not going to die capping a flag. Or, you know, uh, going in a, into a demo match, planting a bomb, or even uh, capping a headquarters point. But it is necessary to have somebody that's not going to mind going and uh, being the meat shield and trying to, to cap something. Uh, I think it's very beneficial for the good guys, the, the beasts, to keep people off of me while I cap a domination point. Uh, that's just my opinion, though, guys. Uh, this knife kill was was garbage. Um, I slowed it down in theater mode just to take a look at uh, at what what happened. He wasn't even facing me, you know. And if this was real life, uh, he would have been about five feet away from me, not even facing me. But I died to a knife. That's just um, I blame that on my internet connection and uh, my ping and my three bar. Um, you know, I end up not dropping people in uh, a burst like I should normally do and I've learned to deal with it uh, Sean QP has definitely been nice enough to to teach me a way to counter that and that's basically just be patient that's uh, set yourself up right slow it down and uh, you'll get the kill and uh, this match I ended up going uh, 20 and, and 8 or something like that I believe and this was kind of a blowout um, I mean not as bad as sometimes we usually get but uh, but still, these guys were doing a good job trying to cap doms, trying to flank around us, and uh, I think uh, as a team, you know, we, we do pretty good. Um, we do have rotating members. Sometimes I'm in there with uh, Q and, and RA Noob and, and Visionaire, and sometimes I'm with other guys. And same thing with QP. You know, he doesn't uh, he doesn't have a specific group that he likes to play with. Uh, primarily, he plays with everybody, and that's one thing I love about this guy. Uh, I don't want to make us any bigger, so I'll stop talking about him. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, 
wanted to bring you just a special guest commentary and give you a short game. I cut out quite a big portion of the game, um, probably about a good three minutes worth, because, again, I don't want to bore you guys with uh, something I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of, and Array, honestly, is not one of the most uh, uh, impressive maps or entertaining maps. So uh, I'll leave it at this. You guys check out the rest of the commentary, or rather the gameplay. I'll uh, cut the commentary short. Uh, you guys take it easy, um, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a good time, guys. As the guy was throwing a grenade, so I couldn't like losing Charlie. Dodge it or just stuck. Fuck off. That's ridiculous. How can you throw? Where did you victory? We still here. Oh, yeah.